the world of structural analysis, it's very important to understand your material behavior. One of the most important behaviors is elastic modulus. The best way to define the elastic modulus is by taking a look at a stress strain curve. What we have here is a typical stress strain curve for aluminum. On the y axis, we have stress, which is a measure of the internal load. And on the x axis, we have strain, which is a measure of deflection. In this elastic range, we can see that as stress increases, the strain increases linearly. Now, you can take the slope of this line, and that will give you the elastic modulus. The elastic modulus can then be used to relate stress with strain using this equation here. As you increase your stress, you will eventually get to what is known as the yield point, and here is where the material will deform permanently. In aerospace engineering, we design all our parts to remain in the elastic range so we do not have any permanent deformation. Mm -hmm.